Ben Taylor throws it up in the air, and we are underway. Tip goes to the Vipers, and they will have it going from left to right across your radio and Internet dial. Trey Murray takes it over to the right wing, coming off that triple-double game, hands it to Chris Johnson. Over to the left wing, it goes DJ Kenny, gets a screen from Daniels to the free throw line, back out, open three. Chris Daniels, too strong, pops high off the iron, rebound Anna. Steph with the rebound, gives it over to the left wing. Cameron Jones looking down low for Armstrong. It's not quite there, so he gives it back out to Steph. Steph on the left side, 15 on the shot clock, 11.35 game clock, first quarter. We are scoreless. Takes it between the rings, then a quick chest pass over to Cameron Jones. Jones driving from the right wing into the hoop. The runner is up and in. 2 nothing. Santa Cruz draws first blood. 11.22 to play in the first quarter, and we have a whistle away from the ball. Uh, they're just going to put two more seconds on the shot clock. So 21 instead of 19 with 11.21 to play in the first. No foul. 2 nothing Santa Cruz. DJ Kennedy, number 23, to throw it in, wearing the black headband. Gets it into Glenn Rice Jr., who is run into by Taylor Griffin. Trying to be a little too physical, harass Glenn Rice there into an over and back call as he threw it back towards the timeline, did Kennedy. But that's Taylor Griffin's first personal foul. So Kennedy... Will inbound it now closer to the center court line. And he gives it to Chris Daniels, who's wide open, but 28 feet out. He's not going to take that shot. And Hilton Armstrong will pick him up from 25 feet. They post up DJ Kennedy, back and down. Stephon Hanna gets to the lane and finishes with the left hand. 2-2, two, two, Vipers score 52 seconds in as Stephon Hanna takes it across half court. And we're going to have another problem with the shot clock, I believe. Scott Bolnick over there at the scorer's table. They put two more seconds on the clock, again, for the second straight possession. I'm not sure if they're starting the shot clock at 22. But 11.06 to go in the first, and it's two of these. Hannah gets it into Jones, right back to Steph. Steph between the rings, guarded by Murray. Bounces it over to the elbow. This is Taylor Griffin, free throw line. Dribble handoff, Leslie driving right. Dishes into the corner. Stephon Hannah, shot fake. Steps back, shoots the three, and airmails it. Rebound there for Kennedy. Kennedy will take it across half himself. The former Erie Bayhawk has it on the right wing. Starts and stops. They're going to call him for a carry. And we'll go back to the Santa Cruz Warriors after the first turnover there for the Vipers. 10.46 to play in the first two apiece. Game two of the D-League Finals. If Santa Cruz wins tonight, game three will be Monday night, same time. If Rio Grande Valley wins tonight, the season is over. Griffin, spin move from 14, back out to Cameron Jones, right wing, gets a screen from TG, flips it top of the key, Hannah drives inside, poked from behind, Vipers turnover, it's Murray with the left hand finish and scores. Off the glass, actually put it in his right hand right before he released it, 4-2 Vipers with their first lead of the game. Jones over on the left wing, picks up his dribble, lost it momentarily, now Griffin, Vipers and Amanda Mann, Hannah gets a screen from Griffin, right wing, over to Leslie, puts it on the deck, drives left, Goes up, tough shot, can't hit, tries to tip it in. No good, but Griffin gets the offensive rebound and has it slapped out of bounds by D.J. Kennedy. So Santa Cruz will have it right baseline coming up. It will be Stephon Hanna to throw it in from there. 10.03 to go in the first quarter, 4-2 RGV over SCW. He gets it in to Jones, now right wing. Griffin thinks about the three instead, dribble handoff. Hanna to the left wing. Travis Leslie pull up, jumper from 18, too strong. Armstrong tries to tip it in, too strong as well for him. Kennedy out ahead to a leaking Glenn Rice Jr. lays it in off the glass. 6-2 Vipers. Quickly the other way, Santa Cruz comes. And Hanna slows down at the left wing, throws it over with one hand, pass to Griffin to the cutting Cameron Jones. Right short corner jumper falls through, 6-4. The Warriors cut the lead in half, 9.35 to go in the first quarter. D.J. Kennedy, right wing with the right-hand dribble, a screen from Daniels, top of the key now over to Glenn Rice Jr., wide open from 26, he cans it. 9-4, Vipe Show. 9.22 to go in the first. Stephon Hanna across half to the left wing, guarded by two. Now picks it up, looking to post up Hilton Armstrong. They slough off him, takes the open three, misses it in and out. Rebound Glenn Rice Jr. across half court. Stops, starts again to the right wing. It goes to Murray. Murray, 18 feet out, guarded by Taylor Griffin. Back to Glenn Rice Jr. Shot fake to Murray in the corner. Jab steps baseline. Instead, it goes around the perimeter. Daniels now to Chris Johnson. No, make that Kennedy. He drives baseline, gets past Leslie and lays it in. 11 of 4. Santa Cruz down by 7. Not the start Nate Bjorkren wanted. Obviously, a long way to go, though. 8.43 to go in the first. Straight away, Griffin, guarded by Rice, just beyond the arc. Drives left, gets past Rice, hands it off to Armstrong, who jams it down over Glenn Rice, Jr. 11-6, emphatic two points there for the C-Dubs. 
Kennedy gives it over to Glenn Rice Jr. Hoist from 28, just a little strong offensive rebound. Chris Johnson, Kennedy down low to the cutting Chris Daniels, and we have a foul away from the ball. And that's going to go on Hilton Armstrong. And a technical foul has been assessed to Hilton. He picked up a flagrant at the end of game one. And so DJ Kennedy will shoot the technical foul. Looked like Hilton Armstrong was a little incensed after that call was made. So he picks up the personal and the tech. Kennedy to shoot the technical free throw. That is going to fall in. And it's 12-6 Rio Grande Valley with 8.21 to play in the first. So a hot start for the Snakes. Kennedy throws it into Murray, 35 feet out. A screen from Rice who quickly slips. Murray down low to Daniels on the right block. Going up, stripped by Leslie. Tried to knock it off his knee. Did not go off Daniels. Out of bounds back to RGV with 12 on the shot clock. 8-14 game clock. Kennedy again to do the honors. Santa Cruz setting up in a man-to-man -man defense. Here's Murray to the left wing. Chris Johnson wide open three in and out. Halfway down, Leslie with the rebound. Gives it over to Hannah. Hannah, left wing, tries to burst past Murray. Does, bounces it for Jones, but before it gets to him, he gets deflected out by Chris Johnson. 8.01 on the game clock, 16 on the shot clock. Right baseline inbounds here for Stephon Hannah and Cliff. And we're going to have a foul away from the ball. This is going to go against Taylor Griffin on a moving screen before the ball can even be inserted into play. That's the second personal on Taylor Griffin. See if we get an early appearance from Lance Goldburn. Right elbow, Trey Murray takes it, backs it out beyond the arc. Right wing, goes at Griffin, dishes it out. Glenn Rice Jr., left wing, tries to get around Hannah. He does, runner in the lane, a little scoop shot rolls in. 14-6 Vipers. They've scored 14 points in the first four minutes and 15 seconds. Hannah tries to insert it to the low post, and it's almost taken away by the Vipers. Hannah gets it back, throws it off the glass, and in. Steph with his first bucket of the game, 14-8. Santa Cruz down by six, four and a half minutes in. To Ray Murray across half court now. Gets a screen from Daniels, top of the key. Backdoor cut. For Johnson, but he can't catch up to the pass. Santa Cruz gets the ball back on the RGV turnover. Quickly the other way. Leslie lobs it over to Taylor Griffin. Spots up for the right wing three. Too short. Tipped almost back in by a Viper as Armstrong almost went over the back for his second personal foul. Kennedy gives it over to Murray. As the action has not stopped. Top of the key. Kennedy jabs. Step going to work against Leslie. Can't quite blow by him. His runner's a little strong. Jones with a strong rebound. Jones has to dribble his way out of trouble, picks it up, gives it to Leslie who crosses half court with two seconds to spare, bounces it for Taylor Griffin, can't quite throw it down over Chris Daniels, and Daniels is called for the personal foul. Daniels saying that Taylor Griffin used the off arm there, but it will be Daniels' first personal foul. Griffin shooting two free throws coming up, and he says the Warriors are confident about Winning a couple of games here, and this is why TG says that his team is confident. Just knowing what this team, this team can do. We've, we've lost games this season, and you know, that's part of it. But, um, you know, we've been able to bounce back every time and, you know, put, put a bunch of streaks together. So, I mean, I don't think it really matters where we play. Yeah, we like playing in front of our fans. Um, they give us some great energy. But, you know, this group of guys, you know, we, we've been through a lot. And, uh, you know, we can do it to them a little bit. Griffin hit the first free throw. That makes it 14-9 Vipers, 6.50 to play in the first quarter. One more coming up for TG. He hits that one as well. The lead is down to four. Four, oh, mini run for Santa Cruz. Very mini run. Glenn Rice Jr., left wing. Spin move. Tries to beat Griffin baseline. Kicks it into the right corner. Johnson extra pass. Murray to Kennedy. Straight away, three in and out. Rebound Armstrong off to Cameron Jones. Jones across half court. Chest pass to Travis Leslie. Driving left baseline over Johnson. Blocked from behind by Glenn Rice Jr. Jr. passes it over to Chris Johnson. Spots up for the left wing three. That one rolls off. Kennedy knocks it out of bounds. Off the hands of Hilton Armstrong. Santa Cruz will get it back. 6.25 to go in the first quarter. 14-10 RGV. Stephon Hanna will take the inbounds from Griffin, takes it across the timeline, chest pass over to Cameron Jones, right wing, overhead pass to Griffin, looking down low, Armstrong, great position, and we have a 
foul down low, and it looks like that's going to go on Chris Daniels. It will. That's his second personal. So that will bring in Tim Olbrecht. And Tim on assignment from the Houston Rockets coming off the bench. Some guy you'd have coming off the bench, an NBA player. He replaces Chris Daniels, who has those two personal fouls. Daniels played the first three games of the regular season with Santa Cruz and went to China. Right wing, Leslie bounces it down low. Griffin runs into Olbrecht, taken away by Rice. Bounces it ahead for Chris Johnson. Gets stripped by Hannah. Gets it back, tried to put it up too far underneath the hoop and hit the bottom of the backboard. Santa Cruz with the rebound. Stephon Hanna the other way, and we have a whistle away from the ball. It's going to go on Glenn Rice Jr. For holding a cutter, trying to make his way inside. And that's going to be the third team foul in RGV. So just one more to give in this quarter for the Vipers. 6.03 to go in the first, and we're going to have a timeout on the floor. A full timeout taken by Santa Cruz. That means a 90-second break. Santa Cruz trails Rio Grande Valley 14-10. Back in 90 seconds, you're listening to Santa Cruz Warriors basketball on KION 1460 AM and 101.1 FM. <laughs> 